congratulations to all those seniors in high school who are moving on either into the workforce or are moving on to higher education, going to college, whether it's staying in state, going out of state, whether you're going to a small school, large school, it's an exciting time for you. It's uh, it's a, it's an, an incredible time when you start to grow up, you start to really become an adult, you make decisions for yourself. Uh, and yet, it doesn't mean that you're not going to have to start thinking about the future. And part of that is your financial future. What does that look like? And a good idea is I'm not advocating getting a credit card, but I am advocating that you start to think about building your credit, start thinking about getting a footprint and, and being able to, to start building that credit. So when you do graduate, uh, you'll have an opportunity to apply for credit, get home, rent, those kinds of things. And you can do that without getting into debt. You can do that by spending one thing on a credit card and paying it back every month. And you will start to build your credit at a pace that would really, it really is mind boggling. Uh, it, it, and it will help you out dramatically in the future. So you're not just graduating and all of a sudden going, how come I can't rent in an apartment or buy a car? Absolutely. Congrats to the grads. Uh, make sure you'll keep learning, whether you go to continue on to higher education or not. You can always learn more about your personal finances and all over the Internet. There's great information or you can like, follow, subscribe, do all of the above. And we can keep helping you with some new financial tips, whether it be our smart with your money tips or these making your life simple tips. Um, and don't forget to follow. Let us know what you want to learn about and we'll go ahead and respond with a video.